into week three of 2021. It's show me something time. Peter, I'll give you the first pick and feel free to take Daniel Jones. I would love to take Daniel Jones, but show me something, a teammate of Daniel Jones, Saquon Barkley. Mike, he had a 41-yard run so far this year, and that was marvelous, wonderful uh, in the Thursday night game against Washington. His other 22 carries, 42 yards. And again, I don't want to bring up every 10 minutes that he was the second player in a draft or that Dave Gettleman's future depends on him. Okay, but, you know, truth is truth. Show me something Saquon Barkley this week against the Atlanta Falcons who are surrendering 4.9 yards a carry. If not now, when? Absolutely. And he's got that torn ACL that he suffered more than a year ago. It's kind of slowed him down to start the season. He had the long run last Thursday night, but it's time. It's time for him to step up if he's ever going to fulfill the potential that made him the second overall pick in the draft. Show me something, Matthew Stafford. 12 years toiling in relative anonymity in Detroit. Big performances, but never really big games. This is the biggest regular season game that Matthew Stafford has ever played taking on the Buccaneers Tom Brady for his first ever game in Los Angeles PFT power rankings to the extent they mean anything and they don't number one versus number two the Rams and the Bucks preview potentially the NFC championship game this is why Stafford wanted out of Detroit this is a meaningful impactful game this is his chance to show that for the past dozen years it's been the Lions not him Peter Show me something, Josh Allen. Now, I don't want to jump on Josh Allen too early, but the fact is, uh, the NFL right now, there are 34 quarterbacks who have played enough to be ranked in their quarterback rating uh, standings. Josh Allen right now is 29th. Davis Mills is better than he is. Mac Jones is better than he is. And they're not better players. They're not better quarterbacks. But... I think this is a very big early season crucible for Josh Allen. Washington comes to Buffalo. You should have tremendous home field advantage in Buffalo. But it wasn't that way in the home opener against Pittsburgh. And they need to start playing the way that Josh Allen played last year. He needs to form that bond again with Stephon Diggs and Cole Beasley. And this is a very big Sunday, in my opinion, for the Buffalo Bills. And it's just as big for their quarterback, Josh Allen. Yeah, I agree with you. Boy, that's a big spread for that game, like seven and a half points over Washington. I think they're going to have a hard time covering. But it's time for the Bills to get back to what they were last year. Show me something, Justin Fields. This is what all the Bears fans wanted. This is what he wanted. The opportunity to start. It didn't come the way that we thought it would. Andy Dalton has a knee injury. He's the starter when healthy, or as the case may be, when healthy. But Fields back in Ohio. What a way to start his career. Back in Ohio. He went to Ohio State. There's going to be some conflicted Browns fans, but this is your chance, Justin. Show why you were the 11th pick. Show why you're the franchise quarterback that the Bears fans have been pining for since the days of Sid Luckman. Show me something, Jameis Winston. So Jameis Winston in week one was the hero of the NFL. Jameis Winston in week two was classic Jameis Winston. Now, this is a very tough game to go into Foxborough to beat the New England Patriots to basically outthink Bill Belichick at his own game. When Bill Belichick has the puzzle pieces, you know, has the, che- I should say, has the chess pieces on defense to beat you because he has enough, especially on the front seven, to frustrate uh, that running game of the New Orleans Saints and to buzz around Jameis Winston. But if you're going to be the long term answer for the New Orleans Saints, you have got to be able to get off the canvas. And that canvas was in Charlotte last weekend. You got knocked to the canvas, Jameis Winston. Come off it. Beat the great Belichick in week three in Foxborough. I've got a bunch I could go with here. 
Including Daniel Jones. I won't I won't go. And Daniel Jones has been very, very good through two games. They should have won the game last Thursday night. We'd feel differently about him if they had. I'm going to go with – I'll take the low-hanging fruit and go with Aaron Rodgers. And we, we've already talked about it, but it bears repeating. If the Packers are ready, not just to be a team that – gets to the NFC championship game, but gets beyond that level, gets back to the Super Bowl for the first time in 11 years. They got to go to San Francisco and take care of the 49ers. It can't just be we check all the boxes we're supposed to check, but there's always going to be a wall that we run into that we can't bust through, whether it's the Buccaneers in the NFC title game, the 49ers the year before that, these teams that – that if we truly are elite, we're going to win some of these games. This is a game they need to win. It's meaningful. It's symbolic. It shows they've made progress since 2019 if they can win this game. And it's all on Aaron Rodgers. And this is one of the things that Sims complains about, and it's accurate. The team is Aaron Rodgers. The team does require him to get it done. And with all the criticism that he has talked way too much about this week, multiple occasions, complaining about the criticism of those who said he doesn't seem interested and he's not all in. Well, this is your chance to shut up everyone. Beating the Lions doesn't do it. Beating the 49ers in prime time with everyone watching, that's what will do it, Peter. Show me something, and this is a little bit far afield, Mike, but show me something Matt Eberflus the defensive coordinator of the Indianapolis Colts <clears throat> needs to have a great game and a great design in Nashville in a must game, in my opinion, for the Indianapolis Colts. The Colts go to 0-3, and of course, any team can survive 0-3, but with the quarterback situation the way it is in Indianapolis, I, I, I believe this way, Mike. Frank Wright can figure out a way to win a game offensively to put up enough points offensively. I, I think Indianapolis is going to score in the 20s in this game. But Matt Eberflus has to figure out a way to take Derrick Henry 120 yards a game in the first two games of the season. Uh, he's got to figure out a way to bottle up Derrick Henry and to build the kind of defensive game plan that will allow Indianapolis to basically save its early season and go to Nashville and escape with a victory Show me something, Matt Eberflus. Give me a great defensive game plan to beat the Tennessee Titans. Last one for me very quickly. Show me something, Jacoby Brissett, because if you do, there's a chance that Tua Tonga-Vailoa won't be healthy for multiple weeks and they'll ride a hot hand in Jacoby Brissett. He's had the whole week to get ready for it. He isn't thrust into it like he was last week. If he takes advantage of the opportunity, who knows? Maybe he ends up being the quarterback for weeks to come for the Dolphins.